I'm gonna walk through several different things that can mimic sciatic pain and kind of walk through what those might look like and, and what structures they are. Now, if you talk to a conventional doctor, most doctors will not recognize that these things can cause pain to go down the leg. Because again, they seem to be very narrow focused on if you've got pain radiating down your leg, it's gonna be coming from either the sciatic nerve or the nerve roots that feed into the sciatic nerve. But the things that can cause pain that goes down the leg is the facet joints, the SI joint ligaments, the posterior femoral cutaneous nerve, also called the posterior cutaneous nerve of the thigh. You can also have the iliolumbar ligament. And then in very rare instances, we've personally seen this in our practice, the clunial nerves can actually refer pain down the leg. So facet joints, those things are gonna to tend to get worse when you extend backwards or you lean over to the side. That's gonna close down the facet joints. And so if you have increased contact pressure on a facet joint that's irritated, then you can get symptoms from that. Now that's very similar to a pinched nerve in the low back because again, when you extend and you lean off to the same side, that's also gonna close down the foramen. And so that may be hard to differentiate whether the pain that goes down the leg is coming from the facet joint uh, or the low back. The next thing is the SI joint. Now the SI joint is way underdiagnosed in terms of its ability to cause pain. And the crazy thing about the SI joint is the SI joint can cause pain right over the SI joint. It can cause pain on the outside of the hip. It can cause pain on the front side of the hip. And then especially the ligaments, the ligaments can cause referral pain down the leg all the way down into the calf, sometimes into the foot. So the SI joint, one of the big things that we see is that the transition movement, so going from a seated to a standing position or from going from a standing to a seated position is usually pretty problematic with patients with SI joint issues. Now you don't have to have that in order to have an SI joint issue, but that is just one thing that we do see a little bit more commonly.